here yet. Look out for your neighbors this winter. For more information on how to help them keep warm, keep well, ring 0800 289 404 free. That was a public information film. another country's laws, you answer for those crimes abroad. You'll be treated as a criminal, not a tourist. The British Consul will help you, and if you're jailed, we'll ensure that you're treated fairly. Okay. We can help you find an English-speaking lawyer. We can contact your family. We can pass on money from home. We can visit you in prison, but we can't get you out. So stay legal, or you could find yourself having the holiday of a lifetime. That was a public information film. All officers delivering the message must appreciate the implications of their task. News of the death should be broken with compassion and tact by the officer, without the use of jargon. Great care must be taken in the use of language. For the families, the word accident is in many cases totally inappropriate. Property should not be returned in a distasteful condition, and consideration should be given to having it professionally cleaned. Given the often appalling injuries sustained by the victims, Officers may choose to advise family members not to view the body. However, the long-term importance of saying goodbye is well documented. driving on motorways, you'll often see these signals. In normal conditions, they won't be lit, but in fog, or if there's any form of danger ahead, then the amber lights will flash and the signal will tell you the maximum speed to go. 50, for example, or 20, or 40. This signal tells you that a lane is closed. When you see this signal, you'll know the danger is passed and the restriction is ended. On urban motorways, there's a signal mounted over each lane. Again, if it's foggy or if there's danger ahead, the signals will show the maximum speed at which it is safe to go in your lane. An arrow like this tells you to move to the lane to your left or the lane to your right. An arrow like this tells you to leave the motorway at the next exit. If the amber lights change to red lights flashing above your lane, then you must not proceed any further in that particular lane. So, even if you can't see the danger, please do as these signals say. They're for your safety. Excuse me, sir, if I inquire, but isn't that your house on fire? Well, maybe not, but if it were, I mean, suppose fire did occur, and say it caught you unawares at night. If you're cut off upstairs, what would you do? How would you act to keep your family intact? First thing is, make sure everyone who's still upstairs is in one room. Close doors and block up all the cracks to keep out deadly smoke attacks. Go to the window, shout, and try to make sure that someone nearby has gone to call the fire brigade, for they'll speed quickly to your aid. If, while you wait, you start to choke, lie on the floor where there's less smoke, or lean out of the window where there's likely to be cleaner air. But should things get too bad to stay, your last resort's a getaway. Do all you can to break your fall with cushions, mattresses and all. Then lower yourselves towards the ground, for choice where soft earth may be found. These rules may save your lives, so heed them, although we hope you'll never need them. That 
it's bad. Yes, it's mad. It's a minute. And it's very, very sad. It just takes a minute to bag it and pin it. When you're on the run and your heart has a fun, don't get rid of your rubbish the last you wait. Simply bag it and pin it. It's only a minute. And take it home if there's no rubbish. It just takes a minute to pin it.